Travel to the northeast corner of Indiana and you'll find a small community with a considerable story. Mid-1920s, families started purchasing lots and building homes here at Fox Lake, so we've been able to maintain a thriving, multi-generational community now for almost 100 years. That was a time period where black American families were not welcome. Those families had to find their own places where they felt safe and they could enjoy summer recreation just like everyone else. Most Fox Lake vacationers came from Indianapolis, others from Toledo, Detroit, and Chicago. Over the years, things have changed. Cabins have been modernized and new families have moved in. But it's still about 80 to 85% African-American families. The lake itself and the, the nature that you see looks pretty much the same. It's a rich history that's worth celebrating and preserving. The Indiana album started organically, I say about 2012. I had a business for photo preservation and archives, and we just started seeing a lot of photos that people owned that we knew others would like. Yeah, that's my cousin. And so I approached a lot of groups saying, hey, do you have plans? Are you going to start digitizing collections? Nobody was of the several groups that I talked to, so we just felt there was a strong need and um, it was time for someone to do it. This is awesome. We either target a community where we feel there's a need or they contact us. We have volunteers who will then do the registration, the who, what, when, where, why. We get as much as we can from each photo. We have usually three scanning techs and we scan them while they wait because we know people don't want to lose sight of their precious photos. To date, the Indiana Album has gathered and cataloged over 25,000 images. They come from scanathons, like the one at Fox Lake, from individuals scanning their own photos at home, from libraries, antique stores, and elsewhere. And in the collection, you'll find just about every slice of Hoosier life imaginable, the formal and informal, public, and private, extraordinary, and mundane. All the images are available on the Indiana Albums website, but they don't stop there. We then send all of our photographs to Indiana Memory, which is an online union database of the Indiana State Library. And then beyond that, Indiana Memory sends their images to a national database, so we try to get them out very broadly. I love history, I love photography. So it just all ties it together and to me, it's just fun seeing what people will bring. They don't understand the importance sometimes, um, but they learn and we learn. Every time I catalog, I learn something new. You know, the history has to be preserved, you know, through storytelling, right? So that's oral storytelling, but it's also the images and the documents that need to be preserved so that a hundred years from now, people will know that this was here. I think that showcases what black Americans have been able to do when times were unkind, you know, and not only do it, but, you know, make it into something that is sustainable and thriving and something that we can all be proud of. We talk a lot about American history, especially in these times when we have people trying to change history and books and things like that and that's why it's important for us to preserve this so that we are telling our own story. That is what makes it personal to people. They have to have their own connection to it and then once they tie to their family they start seeing broader themes and broader history.